you guys welcome back to my channel vibing after dark underscore with mo and if you're new to my channel how about hit that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber how about send it to a family or a friend so they can vibe out with us and please 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 make sure you like this video that helps out a lot and thanks in advance okay so as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail we're gonna have a lot to talk about tonight and i'm sorry if the thumbnail looks so trashy to me it looks so junky but that goes to show you we got a little bit of everybody to talk about tonight Okay, so first we're going to be talking about Blueface and Jaden. He went live again, and he exposed in, like, their household. Like, it's crazy. Because I'm going to be pointing out another reason why he shouldn't be threatening Krishana to take her baby. Because the situation he be putting his kids in is crazy to me. So I'm going to be showing y'all that video, and we're going to talk about that. Then I'll be reading y'all a little bit of what Dre had to say about the whole situation with Krishan and Blueface. I'm going to also be talking about what Callie had to say. She's the only one in the family that, to me, got good sense. And she basically been staying out of everything. And then we're going to be talking about what Carlissa had to say. And also, we're going to be speaking on Tasiki Because Tasiki have not been in the mix at all since Krishan Baby was born. So, maybe this is why. Then, last but not least, I'm going to be playing y'all a little clip of Krishan's sister China just went live. And we're going to talk about what she had to say. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Like I said, y'all know Blueface been threatening Krishan to take the baby because he feel like she's an unfit parent. And he was pointing out some of the things that she was doing, which she was all wrong about in the first place. Because she came back and debunked everything that he was saying. But y'all know he's a clout chaser. So he's he, he felt the need to record his son crying and thinking it was a joke. While Jaden in the background fussing at him and they talking about the um, P-U-S-S-Y. Like, they talking that type of talk in front of Javon. Now, Krishan, she was starting to cuss on her video in front of her baby. But he's, like, two years old. So, he definitely don't know what she's saying. But Javon is six. So, y'all talking about, like, y'all private parts and all kind of stuff like that. And, like I said, you laughing when he's actually crying and hurting because he don't want you to leave him. And Jaden talking about she about to go just get a babysitter and go get her rocks off it's crazy to me and it's like you know he's his ego is so crazy that them want him to stay that's feeding his ego that's making him happy it's like that's the only way he feel like he feel loved if somebody's begging for him begging for his time begging for his attention like that's stroking his ego but i'm gonna just go ahead and play y'all that little clip and let y'all see for yourself what i'm talking about and then y'all can see if y'all understand what I'm talking about. Bro, don't do this tonight. I'm gonna get you a new phone. Don't do this tonight, bro. I'm gonna go off you, though. Bro. I'm gonna get you a new phone. I'm gonna go off you. Honestly, I don't have a babysitter. Hey, 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 hey. I got a babysitter coming. So, you can take your shit tonight, and I'm gonna leave, bro. I'm loud on you. You out of here, yeah. Yes, I'm not feeling that. It's not cute. It's I'm not finna not be right that. back. Oh, you did that yesterday, the night before. Every time I leave the house, I can't never leave the house. No, I just wanna go with you. I hate my I'm coming right back. I don't you know. You're doing too much. It's crazy, cause I gotta fight with y'all every time, every day to lead out. Take your car then. Yeah. You're not gonna fight with me. No. Nope. I have, I have a babysitter coming. Bye. Okay, leave, bro. I'm not doing it tonight. Bro, I gotta do all this just to leave for a quick time. You're not taking my car. Take your car. Take the Maybach. Uh, Take the Maybach. You're not taking my that's car. That's crazy, my son. Can he come with me? No. Come on. Bro, I'll be right need back. No, you don't need to go. You, you just Bro. made it up. Like, niggas made it up. Bro, I gotta go do something real fast. So I'll be right take back. Take the back. You're not taking the G-Bag. Okay, I'll take so the Maybach. Bye. Back, but... What are you still standing right here for? Oh, yeah. Bye. The door is Any open. Kiss. No, bye. I'm finna leave. <laughs> Bro, y'all really doing all this. Baby. Son, relax, bro. Baby, I'm finna be right back. Everybody cool. The only person cool is Journey. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> bro, come on. Come on, bro. Bro, you so fucking cute. Oh, you're a fucking weirdo. I love y'all, okay? See, that's why I can't really leave how I want to leave because I got a family yeah, to feed, you feel me? Like, I can't even go to the... I can't go to the 7-Eleven. Damn, I can't help my cousin with the groceries in the house. I can't help my cousin get the groceries. Bro, like... Bro. I gotta help my cousin with the groceries in the house. Like, so do that. Son. You're gonna have a bitch come. So hurry up. You're gonna have a Bye. You're gonna have a bitch come eat your Bye. pussy. I've been telling you to take your shit and go. <laughs> you gotta go. Hey, Bye. Hey, you gotta go. Oh, 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 you we don't give a fuck. I love it here. Everybody love me. I want me to stay and shit. Bye. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Like, why put that baby through that torture? That's like, as a kid, when you want to be with your daddy and your daddy leaving, I done been in that situation. So that's why I guess I feel so sad for the little boy. When you don't want your daddy to leave, but they leaving anyway. Like, and he just think it's funny. Like, what is what is the problem? Like, what is wrong with him? And that couch must be Journey Playpen because I swear she never be off that couch. Like, she is always on that couch. And for this picture right here, this was actually uh, the music video that they were shooting for Jaden. And they had Javon over here counting money with the scrippers. So that's one thing that I felt like you cannot talk about Krishan doing certain things when you got your six-year-old son around naked scrippers, or half-naked scrippers. And it was a video... Like I say, during the music scene where he was asking his son, do he think his mama looked good? And I think that that was a little inappropriate because it's not like his mama was dressed for like in some type of event or church or she wasn't fully clothed. She was dressed to me like one of them scrippers with her cheeks out. And he was asking Javon, mommy look good, huh? Mommy look good, huh? And he was like, she's a 10 out of nine. And I'm like, why would you even ask Javon how his mama look when you know she's half naked? That's crazy. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about that situation. And now let's move on. Dre, Blueface's brother, he finally decided to speak out on the whole situation with Krishan and Blueface and baby Krishan. And this is what he had to say. And I'm shocked that he said anything because he was the one that was telling Carlisa to basically calm it down. And it always seemed like he was more so like, okay with Krishan. But here's his two cents. He said, the baby need a father more than Instagram. Why is no one talking about her inducing herself just to rob him of the opportunity to be there, even risking complications with her own self to go live? Everyone is ignoring the signs that this isn't someone who needs to be in control of a newborn, especially without support. Does she even know how to change a baby? Okay, so like I said, Rock already had came out and explained that whole inducing and everything. And for him to say, do she even know how to change a baby? That's crazy to me. And that's all I got to say about that. Y'all let me know what y'all think about what he just said. Moving on to Callie. Callie is Blueface's sister, which a lot of people don't know who Callie is because she basically distancing herself from the family. And she don't be like posting things for clout. Like, she just be regular, post her regular everyday life or regular people do on social media. That's what she do. But she posted a story and somebody had a comment up under the story and then she responded back. So the person said, thank you for not getting into the madness. I think you will see the baby before his own daddy at this point. You staying out of it makes you so much more lovable. Hope to see you shine brighter. So then she responded and said, I don't have anything to say because this is normal baby mama, baby daddy drama. Let them work it out. The sooner they work out these kinks, the sooner it'll be peaceful for baby Junior. Let them heal. And then she posts, I would say the only thing I'm worried about is postpartum depression. It's real. So let's all leave her alone while she's enjoying her newborn. I'm sure there's a lot of stress with the weight of the world. Watching and judging. Newborn baby that's crying and hungry and a baby daddy that does everything for clout and can't take anything serious. I feel for you. You need to go on an island and block it out embrace your blessing in peace 
So that was real sweet of her, but she's a mother too. And so she know how it is. And then she, Blueface is her brother. So like I said, she distanced herself from the family because she know that they do everything for clout. And she already said she ain't with that. So that's why she stopped filming it with, the, with her mama on the show because she can't take them. And they clout chasing ways. Okay, so now moving on to Carlissa. Carlissa wouldn't be Carlissa if she didn't put her little two cents, three cents, four cents, five cents in the mix. Because she got about five different posts that I'm about to read. Okay, so this is her response from Krishan Live when she was talking about Blueface and Jaden, how they was raising their kids. So she said, this is crazy, Rock. You got to relax. You care nothing about his kids when you bragged about removing Javon from his room and his home. I understand you are angry, but this is evil. You said it yourself that John is a great father. Otherwise, why let a poor father get you pregnant 99 times? I know you heard it. I tried to save you from this. Please stop so that y'all can co-parent responsibly. Stop the vengeance before your fans start to see through this. You going to need these fans to help you comfortably raise your children without getting a job like me. Kelly and Jaden had to. John didn't give us the luxury that you are getting for yours. So. Be grateful and happy for your bundle of joy. Everything is going to work out for all those who truly love the Lord. Now, I was just bragging on Carlissa yesterday when I said she was finally starting to make sense. But right here, it sounds like she a little jealous because she said you better be grateful that John gave you the luxury so you won't have to be going through what her and Callie and Jaden went through. Like she basically saying you don't have to work. Be happy. Goodbye. Then she posted, Javon is happy again, y'all. It's been so long since my baby smiled with his whole heart. No matter what happens, John, you doing the right thing. Then she said, all John and Andre ever wanted was their fathers to teach them to be a man. It's hard for a father to be a father in two houses at one time. Ladies, listen when I talk because although I may make jokes, it's because I laugh to cry, keep from crying. She then goes to say, I have never said anything negative to any of my children about their fathers. Two out of three left me for a Mexican girl, and I still never said nothing negative to my children about their father. Because when my mama said something about mine, it made me dislike her even more. And lastly, she said, y'all can be mad, but you better scratch your A and get glad. Go back and tell the devil he a lie that Javon would be raised with his father and no devil in H-E-L-L would stop him. So yeah, that's what she said. So let's move on to Tzatziki. So nobody had really heard from Tzatziki since that day she got stuck at the airport and she decided to go live crying and her and Krishan went back and forth. And today she posted pictures of her on set, her on set with her cast members and this paperwork right here. And she announced that she will be starring in this movie right here called Check, Please. Then she captioned it and said, so excited for y'all to meet Alina from Check, Please. 9.30, my first movie coming soon. I thank God for everything. Directed by 910 Productions Film. So congratulations to her on this movie. A lot of people in the comments was basically laughing because they say, I bet it's coming on Tubi. If it's on Tubi, I'm not going to watch it. A lot of negative uh, response, but then she did have a lot of good response. As well, like, I don't think the negative response was towards her. People just, like, always clown on Tubi. But a lot of people actually still watch Tubi. So, these people still get paid. So, I don't know why people laugh at Tubi for. They still getting a check. And the big Hollywood movie people, they on strike. So, I, it's nothing to be laughing at because they, they still getting a check while the other ones is not. But here's a little snippet of the movie. I'm not going to play too much because I don't want to get copyrighted. Just paying a bill, Justin. I ain't got it, man. I'm sorry. Got y'all next time. I lost my wallet, G. I think I left it back there when we fight. Hey, hey, mama, you think you got it? Yeah, mama. The events that that just going on, you should be able to pay a fifty dollar bill. I lied. You I lied. knew it. My mama bought me this suit. Don't know why I got no money to pay. All right, so like I said, congratulations to her for her first movie. And what about the trailer? Do y'all like it so far? The little snippet I just show. Will y'all be tuning in to watch it? She actually look good. I feel like she'll do good acting in this movie. Okay, so last but not least, I caught China Live that she just did right before I start making this video. And I'ma just play y'all a little clip of it because it was like 13 minutes long. And I'ma just play y'all a clip of the main point of what she was trying to say. Which, like I say, she take up for Krishan all the time. And in most of all her videos that I have watched, she say basically the same thing. 
basically talking trash about uh Blueface, talking trash about Jaden, defending her sister, telling her sister she love her. But this time she was actually telling her sister like to stop being online and give it a break. Then he'll basically trying to say he'll leave you alone. Which is good advice. It's in my mind. I'm so tired of this faggy mother. Hey y'all, what's up? This is a message to Blueface and his sorry ass mother. Please leave my sister alone. What did y'all getting out of this? That's all I want to know. Y'all, is y'all that pressed? Like, what the f is wrong with you ass mother? For one, y'all have no reason to take my sister child. None. None. So I don't know why she even on here crying about that shit. That's not going to happen, first and foremost. Two. Mother, you got pictures of your son's dick. A little ass boy, and you're talking about taking a new boy. How do you think you're going to do that? You go to court next month for a murder case. Keep on playing. I wish he would die. I really do. God forgive me. I don't wish death for nobody, but need to go. Him and his sorry ass clout chasing mother. Like I said, ain't nobody taking my, my nephew, period. Like, that's not going to happen. Ain't like Krishana, unfit mother. Krishana, the mother. Krishan, this is what I need for you to do. Stay off live, baby. Stay off the internet for at least a week or two. That's going to crush him. Because he don't know what that's going on. Stay off of the internet. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Stay off the internet. This shit not worth it. Stop giving that man pleasure. He literally probably laughing at you crying on here. I mean, that's, they not taking your child. You ain't got to worry about that. You ain't done nothing wrong. But love that little boy them like real sham and Krishan if I was you I wouldn't even go back to Cali real shit your family here them Carlissa clout chasing ass you know how it is when you have kids so why would y'all want to make my sister upset knowing she just had a baby y'all some sick people Krishan you know who God is so what is you tripping for like stop biting and feeding into this shit that shit making me mad. Like, don't feed into them. They miserable. You giving him too much energy, yo. Too much. You got to stop. Turn your plate down, Sean. Mommy told us how to pray. Turn your plate down and fast. And the whole time you fast and pray and beg God to remove them. Watch how fast God work. Watch. Oh, I'm happy his name not on the birth certificate neither. My sister not dumb. I just don't like she keep make letting this girl cry. Fuck yo. He's a bitch. See that? Krishan, stop crying on live. He talking about her, but his son cries every time he ready to leave. Facts. Because he's scared to be with the mother, right? Right. He don't deserve your tears. Anytime you cry, your son hurting. Think about that. Think about it like that. You got it. You Go finish laying up with that man you was laying up with. She pretty as shit. Her baby look good. Look like his uh, big aunt right here. <laughs> he got it going on. That ain't said nothing out the way as Callie, the sister. She the only one ain't said nothing stupid. She the only one I think got sense in that family. That's the sad shit. All right, y'all. She said some real things, and I just had to clip out a lot of parts and because she cussed a lot, and YouTube don't play about that cussing. And like I said, the video was 13 minutes long. I just narrowed it down a little bit to the important parts that I felt like should be in here. But y'all let me know what y'all think about each one of these situations I talked about in the comment section below. I do comment back, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.